So let's take a look at the difference between an ester and an ether. We're talking about these functional groups in organic chemistry. So let's start with the ether. Essentially, we have a carbon here bonded to an oxygen and then another carbon here. And this prime means that these don't have to be the same. We could have two carbons here or two carbons here. That would be okay. And remember, carbon bonds to four things. So these here are going to be hydrogens on the carbon atoms. That's our ether, single bond oxygen between these carbons here. For the ester, the first thing to look for is this carbonyl group right here, this double bonded oxygen. Then that carbon is going to have an oxygen with the rest of the molecule. And again, the rest of the molecule, that's going to be a carbon atom, carbon atom, and carbons bonded to four things. These could be hydrogens or they could be other carbons on either side. And the carbon on the double bonded oxygen has another oxygen here and then a carbon. That's your ester. So it's important to note this R here is going to be a carbon. All right, let's try some practice. So we have two representations here. This is our skeletal, this is our structural. These are the same molecule. Is this an ester or an ether? Pause, give it a try. So right away, no carbonyl group here. It can't be an ester. Is it an ether though? We have that single bonded oxygen in the middle. Then we have carbons on either side. That's the rest of the molecule there, right here, rest of the molecule. That's it. This is going to be an ether. And in the skeletal, we have the carbon here. That would be bonded to hydrogens. Okay, try another one. So again, here's the skeletal, and this is a molecular model. Give it a try. Is this an ester or an ether? So single bond, here are the carbons right here, and each carbon is bonded to four things, so we'd have hydrogens around it. But here's our single bonded oxygen, like in our ether right here. We don't have that carbonyl group, that double bonded oxygen. And then we have rest of the molecule right here around that oxygen. That's got to be an ether. Pause. Give this one a try here. This is our structural formula, then our molecular model. So right away we see the carbonyl group here. So we're thinking maybe it's an ester. Then we have it bonded to an oxygen with a carbon or the rest of the molecule. Here's our single bonded oxygen, rest of the molecule. That's the rest of the molecule there. This has to be an ester. And you can see when we lay this over the top here, you see our double bonded oxygen there. Here's our oxygen with single bonds and the carbons on either side. Let's try another one. Is this an ester or an ether? So we have our carbons here, like this. You can see the double bonded carbon, like in our ester, and then oxygen bonded to the rest of the molecule. This is gonna be an ester. One more. Give this one a try. Again, that carbonyl group, the oxygen, then this carbon here, the rest of the molecule, it's gonna be an ester. And down here you see your double bonded oxygen, then there's a single bond with the rest of the molecule there. In this case, just a methyl group. So that's it. This is Dr. B with the difference between an ester and an ether. We're talking about functional groups in organic chemistry. Thanks for watching.